Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the King of King, the Lord of Lords, and our soon coming King. He is the Alpha, He is the Omega, He is the beginning, and He is the first, and He is the last. And let me see if I can get this a little bit better. Plug out this a little bit. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. This is your man's servant one more time in the presence of his people. Glory be to God. Yes, man. Yes, man. As you can see, my topic, my topic, my Bible, right in front of you. This is my, my guide. And I don't do nothing without the Bible itself. Glory be to God. And as greetings to everybody, greetings Tasha Reed, greetings to um, 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 Sandra, greetings one of God, greetings, I'm just seeing the names as the names comes by, greetings, greetings to my wife as well, greetings to the Evans of Hope in Pentecostal Church, greetings to my friends, my families, my followers, greetings, accept holy greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you can see my topic, um, Shindi Bibi Kundubai. Uh, many Christian prophets said they are Christians, but they are demons. Many persons profess said that they are a child of God, and they are not. Many persons come and look like pastors and bishops, but they are not. As you, as you can see my topic, get your pen, get your Bible, get a piece of paper, get your pen. Get your Bible and get a piece of paper. Every word that verbalized out of my mouth, you will get it from the pages of Scripture. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let me see if I can send this off to a couple of people. They want to say that I'm online. Yes, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Mighty God. Yes, man. Send off a couple of these to the people of God. So they can see that I am on. Glory be to God. As you can see my topic. Very, very important topic. Very, very important topic. Glory be to God. Yes, man. I'm sending off these a little bit here. Many Christians profess that they are Christian, but generally they are not. They are not of God. They just have on the clothing. Look like God. But deep down in their heart, they are far from God. Glory be to God. I'm sending up some things so you guys can see this in the ending. Glory be to God. Give, give me a few minutes. It's a few minutes I want. Glory be to God. I can't send off to everybody, but I'm going to try. Glory be to God. Shandi bibi Bahai. I feel the presence of God. Yes, let me get back to my topic. As you can see, my topic. Get your pen, get your greetings, everybody, again, once more time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Many Christians profess that they are Christians and they are the devil from hell. They are saved but not delivered. They are only sent by the devils to keep trouble in the church. They are only sent by the adversary to cause problem in the church. The man was sent by the adversary to make the church look bad. The man was created by the adversary to make person a bad name about the church. Now, as you see my topic, many persons profess that they are, many Christians profess that they are a child of God or a Christian, but they are liars. They are liars. Greetings, woman of God. 
um, Lady Angel um, Jolette, Julie, sorry, from out of, I think it's out of England, greetings, woman of God. Yes, man. Now, get your Bible. Look at this. Let me start with this. First John chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. I'm getting, I'm setting my tone a little bit. So, first John chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning. God is from the beginning. God not change. God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Let me remind certain Christians who think that they are Christians, but they are Christians. A one bench, then come to church for one bench. Give problems. Let's continue in 1 John chapter 2, verse 14. I have written unto you, young men, because ye, have, because ye are strong, and the world... And the word of God abide in you. And ye have overcome the wicked one. First John chapter 2 verse 15. Now. First John chapter 2 verse 15. Listen please. This is Bible. I'm, I'm giving you Bible. Get your pen. Get your paper. Get your Bible. You're going to see scriptures that you never expected to see or hear or understand. Get your Bible. Every word that proceeded out of my mouth is Bible. Right? I don't come to motivate you. Like some of them who come to come competitivate you. Right? I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm a word man. I'm a Bible man. I'm a God man. I'm a Jesus man. Now, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Listen to this, Keely. And he's talking about Christian here. Christian, you may talk to. You, child of God. Mm-hmm. 1st John chapter 2 verse 15 it said love not the world so no Christians must love the world no believers of Christ must love the world you are in the world but you are not of the world love not the world nor the things nor the things that are in the world. So how comes the Bible said that Christians must not love the world. Nor the things in the world. But yet still we are looking like the world. We are looking like the world. Yes your appearance says a lot. I don't care who you are. We are looking like the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So let me ask you a question. The world out there, are we a cut up jeans? Why Christian want to pick up cut up jeans we are coming to church? Are we a go on road? The world out there who don't know Jesus, who are unsaved. Mm -hmm. I drink rum and I smoke them ganja. But yet still there are Christian who are smoke and who are drink. The world may talk you know, the world. You have Christians more of the world than of God. And whether you like it, yes or not, and it is the truth. You have Christians. Oh, let me break down something for you. Yes, I found a scripture that said that if you drink and person take it out of context, the Bible said we must drink a little wine for the stomach's sake. If you feel sick, if you feel down. No, I found out that Christians, bishop, apostles, I drink rum. And they don't realize that the Bible said that in. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 11. Woe! Woe! Unto the man that drinks strong drink from morning till evening to the what? Toxicated by the alcohol in a layman term. The devil is a liar. 
Me say Christians looking like the world. If God work on the inside, why God have to work on the outside? If Jesus Christ work on the inside of our man, why he must not work on the outside? Answer the question. I got to lick it to the bus today. I got to dry to it here. I don't come to a friend, now, family, now, colleagues, now, whatever. I come to declare, thus set the Lord thy God. And that's why Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1 said that, Cry aloud, spear not. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And... So my people, their transgression and the house of Jacob, their sins, me are telling you the sins out there. I better go on a Christendom. Then dress holy, come past Sunday upon a Saturday. And if anyone out of disbelief me, then come with long dress, jacket, and tie. Look good upon a Saturday or a Sunday. But if your wife know them and live like a Jezebel and all them dressed, Look when we come a choir practice. Look when we come a Bible study. And if any one of you disbelieve me, go at the church Sunday and pop up at the Bible study or the choir practice and see how them I live. And tell me, say, if you're not the same church, them I worship. Them take God church as puppy show. Shandy, baby, baby, cone, baby, Yes, man, I let go on. So, you must only dress holy on a Saturday or a Sunday. But during the week, you live like a devil. Huh? So, that means, eh, death only comes on a Sunday or a Saturday. So, death not come Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday. Huh? So, God only speak to you only on a Saturday or a Sunday, a worship day. So that means that God does speak to you during Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Answer me question. Now look at this. In Titus, Titus chapter 1, verse 16. <laughs> Titus chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know God. They profess that they know God. But deep down in their heart, they don't know God. They profess that they know God. Titus chapter 1 verse 16. They profess that they know how much person you hear in a church say them know God. How much pastors, bishop, members say them know God. Well, it don't. But yet still in Titus chapter 1 verse 16. They profess that they know God. But their works, they deny him. Then profess them knowing God, but the work then deny God. Eh? How can you say you know God and a gamble? How can you say you know God and look like the whore and the whore mongers them out of the road? How can you say you profess that you know God and bad mind and grudgeful? How can you say you know God? Just holy. But you go up on beat strip and just not tight. And, and bikini. And I show up on Facebook. Huh? How can you say you know God? And I wear tights go preach. How can you say you know God? And I wear squeezing bars and leg on my ankle go preach. How can you say you know God? And go to hotel and go up on Facebook and show say you drink from bar. Me I talk to you know. And you say you know God. We're not gonna lie, I'm gonna lick it to the bus, dry to it here, rig it to the pub. I'm gonna lick from King's house to arms house to lower house to upper house. I'm speaking, thus said the Lord I God. How can you say you profess that you know God? Because someone who look at adultery and fornication and the Holy Seed. Yeah, you have more than that. You have more sins out there than that. You profess that you know God, but you're still a God dance. You profess that you know God, but you're gonna listen to spice. Our sense here. You profess that you know God, but you have to go bend down later. You profess that you know God, but you want to have the 
the glamorous hairstyle like the world. Am I talking to the church here? Your professor, you know him, but you deny him. You're the works, the work deny him. But yet still your professor, you know him. Huh? Now let's continue here in Titus chapter 1 verse 16. They profess that they know God, but the works they deny him. Being a bunny rubber and disobedient, disobedient yo. And unto every good works, you're reprobated. Me not, the devil is a liar. And that is what is happening into the body of Christ. Now, when I examine the pages of scripture, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11, I don't come to stay along, I just come to declare this. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11, listen to this keenly, get your pen, get your Bible, and follow me here, I gotta talk. God's word never fail. God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. God's word, Jesus Christ's word. God's word, no way shimmies, no negative, no G-string, no tongue, no boxers, no, no tight jeans, no marina. God's word no change. Because I want you to understand, have you ever seen a president or a queen or a king or even MP or a prime minister have you ever seen them go into the house of representation and wear marina and a short pants? Have you ever seen an MP go into the parliament or the house of representative and wear cut up jeans? So if the ancient are following their precept and you serve a true and living God, why you want to turn God's house into a crack house? Many of these churches nowadays is not church. It is not church. It is a business place for the devil. Stop men and lay hands on you people of God. They are demons. Let's continue here in the page of scripture. Right? In Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 11. Is this house? This is this. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 11. Is this house which is called by my name? Remember God said that to them in St. Matthew chapter 16. Upon this rock I build my church. It did not say it built Winston Reed Church. Now your church. Because I realize that people are claiming God church and my church. And on my church I got church. Stop take God church as your church. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Any person say, any pastors, bishop, and apostles say, I'm my church. Something wrong with them. Because I don't feel them church. I got church. And if I feel them church, that means I demons in them. Am I talking to you? No, let's get back in the page of scripture. In Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11. Say that. Is this, is this house which I call by my name? Become a den of what? Of robbers. Everybody a thief nowadays. Secretary a thief. Pastor a thief. Bishop a thief. People them send on them barrels. You're a thief if you want to sell it. How can somebody send them barrels from overseas for them to for you to distribute? Uh huh. And you want to sell it to the congregation. You're a demon. You're a demon. How can somebody pack barrels and send down to the church? Send it to the Christians. Right? To issue to the poor and needy. But yet still they want it the best. The devil is the liar. How can somebody want to have a feeding program? Make the sponsorship. But yet still they want it the best. Can go feed your jingle and pick them as bishop. The devil is a liar. I'm going to lick it to the bus to them. Let's come to the gear. Right? The Bible said that in same way in, in Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 11. Right? A robbers in your eyes. So you guys are seeing people robbing people and you not talk. You're just as bad as them. If you see somebody thieving somebody something. If you see the pastor rob out this congregation, you'll be telling them face that you want thief. You'll be telling them face. Tell him them face. I don't care. You want thief. You're a robber. You're a scan you're a scam artist. You're a con artist. You're a scammer. You're a genal. You're a pretender. 
That's why people don't like me, you know. Come and tell them the truth. Shan de bibi kuda. Follow me in the Bible. In Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11. Be all, even I have what? Seen it, say it the Lord. No, what is so fascinated is that these knockoff Christians, at artificial Christians, who look like Christians, they have everything of the world. They dress like the world, they talk like the world, they move like the world, but they only they drink alcohol like the world, they play a lot up. Uh-huh. They speak like the world, they bring dance all. From out the world in the church, start twerk, start the body rider, start to bend down and stuck it down. Broke neck. But the only thing is with them is that they are just in the church, occupying the church space. Occupying the building space. And that's also just the truth. Now look at this scripture. And they're not shaming them. Yes, man, even when they wear their spaghetti. And then tight pants and then tight jeans. Mm, and then cut up jeans and short pants. Mm, and puny printer. Now nah, squeezing bars and let go my uncle God church pan choir practice. Yeah man. Our person worship team. If you want to know how some person got choir practice and you see. And you see if I see them we all then dress. Come Sunday morning and Saturday morning. Look if I see a way then come pan choir practice our Bible study. Our youth fellowship. Look! We that our men's fellowship, our woman's fellowship. Let them feel like say God blind. God no blind. God holy every day. The Bible said that what? Let's continue here. Remember she said they have no shame. And I'm giving you a scripture here. Bible here. The Bible said that what? In. The Bible said that what? In Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 12. Listen to this keenly. Where they are. Where they are ashamed. They have no shame. When they have what? Committed abomination. Abomination is mean that things that are not pleasing in the sight of God. Which means that God go against. Let's continue here. Question. Nay. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 12. They were not at all ashamed. Christians nowadays don't shame you know. They are one foot in and one foot out. Them know so them I take them on next door and I take the married the married man or the married woman next but they don't care. They still want to come to church. Come hold mic and preach. Demons them there. They come like Simon the Sarsara. They say but they not deliver. I say they are from past, but they are professing like they are Christian, but deep down in their heart, they are what they are. They are not. They come to church and sing pan choir. But they are not Christian because they still have Dashobia. Witchcraft. Still a tidy man. Still a tidy husband. Me I talk to him. But they come to church. Uh huh. They come to church and profess that they are a Christian. But yet still. At them a bone kangaroo in the house. And a dash rice and a broke up coconut. Fe mad the boy. Or fe mad them pitney. Am I talking to you? They profess that they are Christian. But yet still. Uh huh. They will kill you over land and money. Me I talk to you. They profess that they are Christian. And then a love peace. Anything I'll be a war, 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 war. And that's one. Demons. Now the Bible said that what? In Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 12. Let's continue here. Right? They were not, a, not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush thereof. Shall they fall among them? They fall in the time of what? Of what? Of they shall be cast down, say the Lord. The Lord I got cut you down to scratch. Pastors who pretend they are God I got cut you down to scratch. Christians when a church, God I got cut you down to scratch. I now ask you, me I tell you. Woe unto my pastors that lead my people astray. God I got cut you down one by one. God I got rubbish you one by one. Everything about you is going to be desolate and destroyed. Let's continue here. Now, it's so ironic. All the big old, all the big old great old woman them. I saw me I call it, semi fiesty. All the big old great old woman them. Who supposed to set example? When me I thought, let me break it down. All the hell the ladies them in a church. All the hell the ladies them in a church. The great old woman them. When time passed them long time. Who do me I thought now? Now, 
They're worse than before. Because I realize that mothers that's supposed to be a mothers be a war or a warmonger in a church. They want just like the young people, them. They want to dress with tights. Let me let me tell you the Bible, what, what the Bible call them whole folks there. The whole the whole are the elderly ladies, them are the elderly men in a church. Let me tell you what the Bible call them. Look for you, look for it. In, in Ezekiel chapter 23. Verse 43. Ezekiel chapter 23. Verse 43. Then said I unto her. That was whole. That was whole. In adulteries. Now how can a whole man that's supposed to know the time run upon them? Eh? I sleep with the married man. Huh? How can the whole ladies them? Eh? I put on them, they can hardly walk. I do twerk and, bat, I, 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 and bend on stucky. I put up one foot on bench. Me attack it. Call it a go on a touch. What you call touch? Whole folks, me attack. Whole foot, yam foot, ass foot, I would me attack. No, it's so ironic. The Bible call them adulterous. They will what? They will, they will committed who among us so me call no who among us look at bex me call the bible call no who among us if you're not living for god in the right perspective manner you're a whomonger you're a whore you're a prostitute the bible call it so you're a dog revelation chapter 22 somewhere around it where said you are a dog out of the gates of heaven are a bunch of dogs who among us sorcerers Idolaters and murderers. So the Bible call a dog, me I call a dog too. And if the Bible call a prostitute, me I call you too. And if the Bible call you a harlot, me I call you a harlot as well. And if the Bible call you a whoremonger, me I call you a whoremonger. And if the Bible call you a generation of vipers, me I call you so too. Because you can't beat God's word. No, it's so ironic to see that whole ladies, that's what they said, examples. And God is going to judge you, some of you mothers. I don't care. You could have preached like Paul and sing like Silas. How can you be a mother of Zion? How can you be a, a, a woman of God? And you're having your child bring a boyfriend in your house come come have sex? And you call yourself a child of God? How can you be a father of Zion? A father, a strong man or a strong man of God that are a deacon and pastor. But yet still you make your son bring in a in woman come in your house come have sex? Come make love. Oh, you a child fool. Oh, you a child fool. Oh, you Adam. Oh, you a child fool. Eve. Oh, you a child fool. Huh? Oh, you a child fool. But yet still, you got church. I sing. I shout. But yet still, yes, you are promoting your child to become a prostitute. Now, let me say this to you. Mothers, be very wise with oh, all you send your... Let me say this. Many marriages destroyed because one demons occupy one of the parents them more than one. Because one parents want them pick the fitness in a body right and tights. Go up on the road, go dance, go banquet, go sweet 16 party. The devil is a liar. When you're a child of God, you must stand for firm meditation. The Bible said, Open this rock, and Christ the solid rock we stand, and all other grounds are sinking sand. You have all a prostitute out there. And you break out your pitney to become one. The biggest whore out there. As a child of God. I don't care if you may like me. Why am I saying that? Because you brought them from child. They start wearing the lipstick. They start wearing all of them stuff. They shot up on the road. Um, you start to party for them. And you have the big old grown turn pervert them. As your friends them. We you invite. If you come, come sit down and watch you look at daughter grow. Yes, let me talk it. You have some pervert and rapist out there. With some of them in a church too. Who oh, you invite to come, come sit down and watch a local two year old because of you put it out there. You take them pictures. When they are beach, put them on Facebook. You are promoting adultery. You are promoting whomongers. You are promoting prostitutes. I and mean, I can lick it to the boss today. I don't care if you may like me. And that's why the world gone sick. Because there is no mother that stand up for righteousness. Where is the mother? 
that say okay son you can't sell no ganja money no no quote money no no illegal stuff in my house but nowadays christian mother I'll hug up the bloody money and the fathers them are hug up the bloody money i don't care if you may like me but yet they go to church every day i sing there hallelujah demons and hell are gonna pick you up i mean okay if you may like me they speak does say the lord again the lord said i dare for become your enemy because i speak the truth huh so let me say this to you i want to defend them defend them because we are living in a time of generation of vipers this this generation is worse than before and ladies parents and even the fathers them stop defend it knit it in the board knit it in the board pull back the community back together it start from a family and don't tell me it's a pervert they all want to play the calendar yes then they are all your grandfather could have be a pervert the man where you pick up could be a pervert a pervert oh by the way even yourself could be a pervert that's what you love to say when you pick me dressed a certain way because you can't get no woman out there so you, so you start target your one pick me yeah man that's why your fathers who rip them pick me yeah man any let me say this to you i don't care who i could have been no family relative can't dress any any old coming at this house where we're there none none i don't care if you come from america england canada let me say that you better find out the rules of Fimi Church or Fimi are, are, are the church where God put me in. Not my church, it's God's church. Right? Or you better find out the rules when they come to visit me yard. Come in and invite nobody to come in my house who have them pants and eat them bottom. I don't care who you are, you could have give them, you could have you could have you could have give me half spring, me leave spring. You the biggest money. You could have buy them jet plane or car. Rules is rules. So you are breeding a set of generation. And that's why the Bible said that what? Right? The whole folks become what? The whole folks, whole foot. Right? Become adulterous. Right? They will commit it us with her. And she, she with them. How can you elderly ladies dress like your picnic? Where is the difference? Where is God? Where, where is the holiness? Where is the righteousness? Where is godliness inside of you? Huh? Christian ladies who are leaders are just, just not tights. Go power road. Tights. I go power road and say nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with it. Christian ladies, Christian men. I wear some tight pants, squeezing bars and leg on my ankle. If you come come studios, you know, and studios manto. Who want to come out of the fishy mentality? You know, I'm talking here. Hate me if you don't want to hate me. Defend them if you want to defend me. Because I want to, I can tell you this. Hell, I go pick you up. And don't say me, I judge you. If there's a place for the body, there must be a place for the soul. The hurt when a man dead, when a man die, he goes where? He goes where? When a man dead, let me find some. Let, let me let me. I can lick it with that. Let me let me pause here a little bit here. Cause I don't feel like a joke thing. Me come here this afternoon about. Let me let me look for one scripture here. Come in a joke with no demons. I'm in a hug up no demon. Cause demon and a friend and a company. So if you want to hug up demon, and you're out of your business. But it's a one man of God now. I got no demon. This is one man of God. Now I got no demons. Come last time that I checked in the Bible. Demons not a friend. Now look on it. And when I talk it. When I preach it. When you can't mix with me. Right? Not even the wealth. Come look on this. In Job chapter 21. Job chapter 21 verse 13. Look on this. And I'm going to say this. Me say, if Mr. Data come, yeah man, Mr. Data come, and one thing you can say for sure, every man know when them said death is a must. Everyone I know, Mr. Data come, Sister Data come. Look on this. They spend their days in wealth. Job chapter 21 verse 13. 
Job chapter 21 verse 30. They spend their days in wealth. Not if your money can bribe you from debt. And in a moment, go down in the grave. I want to me can tell you, how when you have your money, you know better than me. Because me, I serve Jesus Christ, who you serve. So they spend their money in wealth. But in a moment, they just drop down dead. Set your house in order. I come here, come here, clean up, clean up from where it is. Right? Verse, verse 14 said that in Job chapter 21. Verse 14. Therefore, they say unto God, you know, here's some person cuss, cuss out God yet. Dab up God. So they now come to church. Then this, then that, then that. And cuss God. Right? Depart from us. How much person cuss God and say, depart from us, you Christians. Then dab up the God. Then dab up the Spirit of God. We never invite it. As we may talk to you now, you have some people who wish we could have shut up. Yeah, man. Yeah, some people wish me could have lack of the life, and the life was gone. And they still watch me. The Bible says in Job chapter 21, verse 14, Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us. They may run God. How can you run Jesus? Huh? For we desire not the knowledge of thy way. They don't want to know God's way. Because through Jesus Christ said that, He is the truth and life. No man come up unto God and let it go to Jesus. So they don't want to know God with you. I talk to you in a Bible, a Bible, me a Bible, Bible, me a Bible. Verse 15 said that in Job chapter 21, verse 15. What is the Almighty that we should deserve Him? They start saying, What is God that we should deserve Him? They start question now and be with a disrespectful manner. You never hear that yet. I deal with, you know, say, yeah, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. You did not know that it is in the Bible? Yes, it is in the Bible. A Bible me you. Right? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Then my question do him so antichrist or antichrist. What reason we should I pray to God? What may I get from it? What did profit a man to gain the whole world and lose him soul? Timothy chapter 6. First Timothy chapter 6, somewhere around here. And I, and I want to say this to you. How when it, none of us know when that come, but it come. How when you're healthy. You never know that. How when you're healthy, that come. Job chapter 21, verse 23. One die in his full strength. One Diet in his full strength. Nothing wrong with him, you know. Nothing wrong with her. She healthy. She know she never sick. Or him never sick. In those drop down dead, so Mr. Data come. One George Job chapter 21, verse 23. One number one. One. One diet in his full strength, in his full health. Being fully at ease and quiet. Mr. Detta come. Let me get back because I don't come to steal. I just come to lick it right here. Shandi bibi kundi bai. Now let's look at this. The way how they are prostituting their daughters. To look like them. In Leviticus. Chapter 19 verse 29. Leviticus. Chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a, a whore. Lest the land full to whoremongers. And the land become full of wickedness. So being beat with the word now. A word me give you. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29. If you begs me, you begs it God. Because I got to write the Bible. What is so ironic again. I'm saying this. 
And that's why the Bible said that in Revelation chapter 22, verse 15 to 16. For without our dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lies. Verse 16 said that in Revelation chapter 22, verse 16. I, Jesus, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the church, in the church, in the church. Shanda baba baba ko shanda loai. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Bex if you want Bex. Now, what is so ironic again is Amos, Amos chapter 8, verse 18. Amos chapter 8, Amos chapter 5. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Let me cool down a little bit here. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire a day of the Lord. Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end? Why do you want to worship God on the day? Why do you want to serve Him on a Sunday or a Saturday? Why? Is it for you? All right, for God. Is the day for you or for God? Question. The day of the Lord is darkness nowadays. People want to change the day of the God in a darkness. And not light. Huh? You know, the people start changing stuff now. It is okay for you to wear this. It is okay for you. You're so here. It is okay for you marry your own kind. You're so here. It is okay for you to wear battery right and tights coming at church. You're so here. It is okay for you to wear cut up jeans coming at church. You're so here. It is okay. Right? For you to take the married man at church. You're so here. It is okay to take the married woman at church. You're so here that. You're so here. It is okay to niam grass. Up on this rock, he built his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Up on this rock, he built his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail, will not prevail, will never prevail. People are not building church, they are building a business. The only difference is that they have the church name on it. They are in it for wealth, for game, for popularity, for power. To see how much woman they can have. Because they must sleep with church sister right you. And the, and, and the pastors them who are females are sleep with the church brother them right you. Some of them married but they are not happy. Because the husband not paying no attention. Or the husband something dead. Or something wrong with them wife whom. So they have to take the secretary. They must take the, the, the choir leader. Hit me if you want, hit my tooth. I better go on, pan what I go on. If the head is sick, the body will be sick. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 5. I speak, thus said the Lord like God. Now, this is, these are the things that are happening. So, God is upset. You have people who are saved like Simon the Sorcerer. Acts chapter 8. Baptized, but not delivered. Saved, but not, not delivered. Baptize and eat water, but still not change yet. He who have a clean hands and a pure heart shall, shall see God. Created me a clean heart and renew that right spirit, spirit within me. Many persons baptize them still have the wrong spirit. That's why them teeth like puss. Some people in a Christian, you can't trust them. You can't even trust them for stay in the, in the, in the church. Because them teeth every cheer. Some people who come in a church say they are Christian. You can't even leave them in the church too long. Because they teeth on the pulpit. Some people in the church, you can't even leave them in the church too long. Because they teeth all the tissues them in the church. 
Some person you can't left in that church too long. Because they teach all the bleach in a church. You think, you think I'm joking? But yet still they baptize. And not everybody said they're a Christian. A Christian. They still have the worldly mentality. In a them. And they look for scriptures, scriptures to justify their nasty act and dirty act. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to ask this. Does God change? The God that write the Bible, him change? I sure I know I read in, in Hebrews that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The same God now Moses' time till now. Does him change? Does he change his character? Just does he change his word? The answer is no. So how comes you want to change how you're looking at church? People in a church, not even say they have the fingernail short. Come I mean, I say woman must look, look, look good. Don't get me wrong. They have some fingernail tall for you, so God took us up. I come in a church with them dragon clan and demonic and them. What the Because I'm not going to tell nobody to say them they must not look good. Christian must look good. Christian must look papa and pop down like donkey. Christian here, nothing. I personally believe that a woman must look good. I personally believe that a man must put themselves together. I reason with a lot, a lot of ladies and them say they can't even manage their ear when it's natural. Me understand. But put yourself together that it's still be respectable in the sight of God. I'm not telling nobody to put nothing in their head. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying not to look like the world. Not to look like the world. You can still dress modest and still don't look like the world. Modesty. Modesty doesn't mean you must look like a prostitute. A prostitute, you will never see a prostitute or a whore or a harlot or a whoremonger. You will never see them in a tall skirt up on the roadside. The mafia have a nigger jay, tights, something short up, short up, something revealing. And that they might bring in a church. Why you think some of them money I want to wear some tight pants? I will preach to you. I soon gone, come with it, I soon done. Right? Why you think some of these men that married, they married but they're not happy. They married but they're not happy. They want you. Because them wife now tell him oh they look good. So they wait for you for look on them front. For tell them oh how big it is you never know ladies and if ladies are here reality cause some talking you know, me I want plain man, man of God the first thing many ladies look upon a man front and whether they may like yes or no many ladies who are out there the first thing many want to go look upon as is a man front I the truth well, they may like me for the truth, that's the truth. No, I speak reality. I speak facts. And there's a lot of stuff I could lick out on. But I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to tell you what God will tell you right now. Because if the Holy Spirit ever unleashed the word of God in me deeper, I reveal some stuff that I don't know what that will never know. Right? Christians. I'm going to bust no bubbles with one more. I'm going to show you how some demons work. My service are done, so I have, have to hurry up. Find it. I'm going to leave this, this one with the whole arm. Do you know that enough Christian I use dildo? Yeah, man. Let me deal with that one now. Enough Christian in church. And some pastor tell them say nothing wrong with it. And you want demons. Enough Christian use the false, the false in a church. Enough of them I use the dildo in a church. Enough of them I use the plastic in a church. And come a church, come sing pan choir. That is abomination. And I can prove it in the page of scripture for you. Enough of them sing when I use the dildo. Or the sex dolly. Man, I use the sex dolly them too. You never know. We are toxic. <laughs>
They're going to end with this because I don't want nobody to store me. Store me like Stephen. It's still a Stephen. Yeah, man. I don't know if I don't say I'm nothing wrong with it because I'm not lying down with that flesh. Yeah, man. You never know. Many of you guys. Many, many of you guys are you using and say because I don't need a man. And God now sent me. I lie you a tell. Lie you a tell. Lie you a tell. Let's turn your Bible for. Because I have to go now. Right? Let me deal with the deal of them. A little bit fast and quick. Nice and decent. No, someone was scared of me because I said, someone that know the word bad. Right? Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks my daughter. Right? Now, son. Okay. All right, son. Right? Now, look at this. Let me deal with the deal of them here. The sex toy. <laughs> Should I? Should I touch it? Should I touch it? Come here, it's a pastor, a council person, said so they can't go buy a dildo. <laughs> you think God agree with the dildo? Where, where you buy? Your sex toy, where you buy? Now, you are married, but still I use dildo? I can touch it this tonight. I can touch it this afternoon. You know, when it's so hard and dangerous, means that's why they're afraid of me. Yeah, anyway, make up people afraid of me. Come here, beat them with the word. Now, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 37. Let me deal with the deal of them here. The Fazi Fazi. Yeah, man. Let me deal with you. The Bible said that what? In Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 37. That they have committed adultery. So these are two. This is married couple now. Yeah. You're married and your husband gone from farm work. You're married and your wife gone to England or whatever gone to work. You're married and your husband gone from the ship. You're married, but you're gone gone. Hustle to come back, but your husband still use the falsy for the falsy falsy. I'm breaking down for you. They have committed adultery, and the blood is in their hands. So that means the blood, how come blood is in your hands? Yeah, talk to no? Follow me here. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 37. Right? What? And with their idols. I D O L S. Idols. More than one. More than one. Have they committed adultery? It did not say flesh. It did not say human being. It did not say um, 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 your husband or your wife. It did not say flesh. It's a idols. Idols. It could be the cucumber. It could be the banana. Lord God, me gone deep. Mm -hmm. It could be all of that. Idols. They have committed adultery. So many of you guys think say, you only can commit ad committed adultery only when you have sexual intercourse with somebody else different from your husband. Well, well, I beg to differ. You can commit adultery with your sex tie. But look what come after. With the idols. 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 They have committed adultery. And have also caused their sons. Sons whom they have bear. And to, to pass through the fire to devour. In simple terminology, when you use the fazi, fazi them in your house. When you use the sex toy in your house. When you use the sex doll in your house. Guess what happened? You're causing demons to ride your pit name in your house. You sum up demons from hell. You open up portals for demons to ride your pit in your house. That's why some of the pit can't have sex. A sex like duck. A sex like chicken. And a whole for chiclets. You never know the demons. Sex toy, incubus and succubus. And I, and I don't even want to go there. I ride up pitting them. That's why someone 
Pity you want, you want you want deliverance from them sex demons there. We are time at them. Do we have some of them ripe? They don't even can't even have sex with human beings anymore. A demons himself are right up pity them. I pinch them up at night time. I feel up them private parts. May I tell you what I mean? A reality me attack. Spiritual stuff me attack. Cause you let them in. You. With your sex tie. We built from China, England, away, wherever you make. You. Go white man shop, black man shop. Yeah man, Chinese shop go buy it. Yeah man, you, you see a one. And someone have a decency if you hide it on the under where you join the suitcase or up on the fridge top or up on the cupboard top. Or on your bed. Or in your back or chandel or in your dresser. Or in your shoes box. Or in your suitcase. Yeah man, getting God now reveal it. Yeah man, right there. Or in your closet. In the special part. Or, or in the back or chandel. Or in the safe. Yeah man, right there you know, put them too. Mm -hmm. Or someone put it in the, in the decks at work. In the car, in the, in the glove compartment in your car or in your vehicle. Yeah, man, gotta, gotta reveal it, man. Yes, man, it's see it, man. Adam in the garden hiding. He in the garden hiding. Yeah, man, you have been using it right through. Mm hmm. Right there. In your shoes, in your special shoes. Mm hmm. In the music box. Yeah, man, in the computer bag. Right there, you put it, man. Shandy, be 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 high. Yes, man, right there, you put the sex, the sex tie. A demons, yeah, Adam, for yourself. Demons, demons can ride you because let me say this to you: the sex tie was built. Oh, now if I find preacher preach about that, you know. The sex tie was built to go for hours. A male body was a male body was built for. Let me break it down so you can understand. A male body was designed to go from two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Six minutes probably and ten minutes, probably a fifteen minutes, probably an half an hour. Was designed to go that long. Now when you use these sex toys, they go for hours. So it can be two hours this this sex toy has been playing around with you. You, you, you have been playing with the sex sex toy. So anytime when you book a man in your life you get married, the man is no use to you. Because your mind and your body and the demons near you, you're already programmed already. And that's why someone who not get the man. I will not think about but I not touch the wallet tonight. Or this, or this, this afternoon. It's a wallet thing to be learned. About the spiritual realm. Yeah, man. I can lick it to the bus, dry it to the tear, ring it to the pop. Nothing I go on at church. And that's why abortion is ripe. Lord God, make go for one more scripture. I want done, but I can't done. I'm just saying me that Bible so. Let me deal with that. Let, let, let me let me let, let me lick the abortion here. I look a bit. Lord Jesus. I'm just saying me. Look, can't tell me for easy for the Bible. Tell me for easy for the Bible, man. Let me deal with the skull in the belly. Let me deal with the walking cemetery them. Lord, yeah, man. Let me say this to you. I don't come for the intellectual. Me have to preach and me have to teach radical so people can understand it. If I come with my sophisticated style, or I come across, I will not reach the majority. So let me deal with the skull in the belly, the walking cemetery, the built-in cemetery. Let me deal with you know. Let me deal with the person that lose, that have that committed abortion. Let me come to your style, abortion. In Numbers, Numbers chapter five, verse twenty-four. Because when you go do your nasty act with me, I want a long time about you know, I want me to talk about it. So let me deal with the abortion here. And anybody who committed abortion, even if fetus you kill, there's a curse will be upon your life. If you kill the belly, kill the pregnancy, I don't care who you may breed for. I don't care who you may pregnant for. If you kill the fetus, sorry to say if it comes the wrong way, or who, or you never plan for it, or it happen. But me have to tell you what the Bible says. Me have to tell you. Me have to tell you. It may not please me because you may be raped and you get pregnant. I want to kill it, but I have to tell you. You may be have sex with a married man and get pregnant, but I still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for a man when you want to pick me, but I still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your sister, man, but I still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your brother, man, but I still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your boss, but I still have to tell you. 
You may get pregnant for your cousin, me still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your pastor, me still have to tell you. For your bishop, me still have to tell you. The truth. The truth. You may get pregnant for your bad man, me still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your father, me still have to tell you. You may get pregnant for your cousin, for your uncle. I still have to tell you the Bible. I can't change it because you may go through that trauma. I still have to tell you. Anybody that committed abortion, there is a curse upon your life. Whether you like it or not. The human side don't want me to say it. Because I'm a human being. And I've known what you guys have, some of you guys have been through. But the spiritual man that is inside of me, which is the Holy Ghost, because it's greater is he that is in me than he that is in I have to tell you. Look who when they commit adultery. Sorry, when they commit abortion. Look what happened. In Numbers chapter 5, verse 24. Numbers chapter 5, verse 24. And he shall, and he shall cause a woman to drink the bitter water. Which means to wash out the belly. To get rid of the pregnancy. Right? The water that causes the curse. Enter into her. And become bitter. Now you see it? Now look at verse 27. Numbers chapter 5. Verse 27. And when he had made her a drink. The water. Or the water. Then shall, shall come to pass, it shall come to pass, that she get rid of the belly. She flush it out. She got Dr. James to go flush out the belly, the abortion. I'm telling you, Numbers chapter 5 verse 27. Right, come to pass, which means it already it happened now. That if she defiled and have don't trespass against her husband. Which means that our brother breed her. Our cousin breed her. Our uncle, our boss. Because she's staying late hours at night at the boss. So the boss breed him. Defile against her husband. Am I talking to you? That the water that caused it. The curse. Shall that caused the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. And that belly shall swell and thy thigh shall rot. And the woman shall be cursed among her people. Not for one curse, that's why you can't have pity. Curse your curse. Your mother curse you from birth. Let me preach to her, but I say it go. I have a time when I speak just normal like I'm speaking, but God's a radical. No for no. If you dash for your belly, if you're a walking cemetery, we will pass call them a ball. Say Jesus. My mama, mama that shouldn't kill me. Uh -huh. That me a talk about. I mean, I pretty it up. And the reason why I call someone to come with a presumptuous sin. Yeah, man. Psalms 19, verse 13. If you want to know what presumptuous sin. I leave it right there. I don't come to stay long. But I cover you to deliver the word of God. Share this life. It may not suit no phone, but the truth. You want a pastor, you want a man of God to come, come tell you a lie. More want to go to heaven. So I can tell you the truth so you can look into yourself. You can look into yourself. And nothing is going on in the body of Christ. Nothing in the Bible, but you don't know see it. But you no keep on say, Pastor, pray, man, and keep on lick it to the bus, dry to it to your ring it to the pop, lick from King's house to arms house to lower house to upper house. Lick from the downstream to upstream, from the pulpit to the pew, from the members to the saints to the unsaved, to the unbeliever. I sum it with me not trim it, me not cut it. This is a Pentecostal fire. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay focused. Stay sweet. God bless you. Share the life in groups, friends. Colleagues, even your enemies. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, stop dash the water, can't obey night. Because someone in the neighbor dash water, and I talk about under my water flowers. 
which you walk for the witchcraft for inner the witchcraft hide. Yeah, man. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, stop that salt. Because salt was meant for cook. But tell me to open a portal over my yard when a demon for ride out there. I say this to somebody. I don't know, I don't know if I have enough service to carry me. But let me say this to you. Have you ever wonder why? Let me leave that one for our next time. God bless you. The only thing that I deserve and the only thing that I want from you, I, I just want your prayer. I just want your prayer. Nothing more. I don't beg. I believe that my Lord shall supply my needs according to his riches in glory. I, I don't, let me say that my Lord, my Lord shall supply my needs according to his riches in glory. The Lord said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seen begging bread. The only thing that I want from you guys that are watching me is to share the life. Greetings, Jackson, greetings, um, Denise, greetings, Lewis, greetings, um, um, Mackin Mackintosh, greetings to everybody. Greetings, I first greet them. Greetings, you know, woman of God, all your leaders in your perspective, if, if I didn't call it by your leadership, um, call it. My sincere apology, but I'm just calling them the names them as the names them goes by. Right? Let me say this to you. I'm a man of God that will preach, teach the truth. Stay in tune. Stay blessed. Don't change you. God not change. God the real nigga J not in our, our pants, not our skirt. See him God. Right? Stay with God. I got to go to the next time. If let me say this, if any fake page set up of me, me begging. If you notice that on each of my life, you will never see me put cash up, nor zell, nor bank account, nor in no. I'm not that type of preacher. I'm a man of God, just want people of God to just love God. Only thing I really am begging you for, I'm asking you for, is to pray for me. Nothing more. Right, man of God, may I pray for you. Right, me know it's tough, but may I pray for you. Keep on praying for us. Keep on, keep on praying for the revelation. Read it again. You must Christian across bad word, pastors across bad word, and so then change. But well, that's our next topic right there again. God bless you. I got to go in the care of the Holy Ghost. This is the man servants here. I am out until next time in Jesus' name.